Pleasant good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome once again to Big Stone Television. As you know, the series continues. The series of our great artists, musicians, players of instruments, those who are gone too soon, and those who are still here with us today. Today, I'm going to bring to you a very exciting female singer. She goes by the name of Karen Smith. Karen Smith was an extraordinary talent with a voice as sweet as a Jamaican almond bird. Whether she spoke or sang the words, the effervescent vibe she doled out was bound to lift your spirit. Filled with compassion, generosity, and a heart overflowing with selflessness, this singing Wonder Woman brought sweet melodies to our ears and happiness to our hearts. She was respected admired and loved not only because of her singing prowess but also because of the affable package her present exudes. The daughter of a school principal, Karen is a past student of St. Hugh's High School and earned a business degree from Concordia University in Montreal, Canada. She started a working life in banking before following her passion and talent full-time in 1986. Jeffrey Cobham, former managing director of National Commercial Bank, was manager for the St. James Street branch where Smith started her banking experience. He described Karen as a creature of light and love. In a conversation with the singer in the early days before she embarked on her destiny, Cobham remembered his advice to the talented singer and young banker. She talked to me about her choices. I told her that I had no doubt that she would rise in the banking profession because she was intelligent and a quick learner, but that those qualities would serve her well in the world of entertainment. The question was though, would she, in 20 years, while, like thousands of other bankers, she was wading through yet another set of bank loan statistics, sighed to herself and wondered if she could have given the world something unique. I think she made the right choice, he noted. Jamaica tourism industry was a huge recipient of Karen's incredible singing skills as she performed as a cabaret singer in the resort areas. Tourism Minister Edmund Bartlett said, the entire tourism sector mourns the passing of Karen Smith who brought a wonderful spark and professionalism to her performances. I'm truly proud to have been a friend of Karen. She certainly was the epitome of grace, charm, and creativity. Her songs have not only charmed so many of us, but have created a sense of solace to so many persons in various circumstances. She will also be remembered for the excellent leadership she provided to the music fraternity. I offered 
my sincere condolences to her family, friends and colleagues, he said. Director of Tourism, Donovan White, said Kine was synonymous with entertainment in tourism and was a go-to performer for many events in the sector. You knew that once Khan was booked, the performance would be seamless and engaging. For her contribution to Jamaican music industry, she was awarded the Order of Distinction at the rank of Officer Class by the Jamaican government. She was also recipient of nine Jamaican Music Industry Awards. She and her husband, Jackie Jackson, who is a bass guitarist, were inducted in the Ultra Race Jazz Festival Hall of Fame in 2001. She paraded her talent all over the world because she was sought after Jamaican Alumni Association in Jamaica and the diaspora benefited tremendously from her skills. She lent her voice to numerous charities and collaborated with many top performers, both local and international, doing her amazing stint on earth. She performed as the opening act for Natalie Cole, Smokey Robinson, Ari Bill of Fonte, Seal, James Ingram, Ray Charles, and Year Supply. And in 1990, when the Rio Hotel in Las Vegas opened, she was the first featured act. Karen recorded three albums, Reflection of Love, came out in 2003 and had a mixture of reggae, hip-hop and R&B. I Still Love You was released in 2012 and Rush entered the market in 2017. In her later years, Karen teamed up with Jim Myers and Patricia Edwards to form the group Package. They performed widely in Jamaica and overseas. While the passing of Karen will leave a void in Jamaican entertainment history, a massive hole will be left in the arts of her dear friends. People close to her see more than just her talent and displayed. Jamaica's entertainment minister, Olivia Babsy Grain, said, Smith was one of the queen of stage performance. Whether she was performing at national or international events or in little country churches, she was always engaging, entertaining, and charming. The minister added that Karen has left an indelible imprint on the culture, arts, and entertainment landscape of Jamaica. She was an active contributor to the cause of industrial development. We will always remember Karen's legendary voice, engaging personality, enduring warmth, and her advocacy. She continued, I'm deeply saddened by the news a voice that reverberated among the cultural and entertainment icons is now muted and the silent echoes with her amazing personality, grace and love for her people. I offer sincere condolences to her husband Jackie Jackson, daughter Courtney, mother Barbara and other relatives and friends. Jamaica's Quincy Central songbird now sings in the choirs of New Jerusalem. Karen is survived by her mother, Barbara Smith, husband Jackie, and daughter Courtney. Her body may no longer be with us, but her enduring spirit and unforgettable performance will live forever. So long, Sandberg. At this time, ladies and gentlemen, I must offer my sincere condolences, even though it's been a while since Karen has gone from us. But I must say my heartfelt condolences to the Smith family, Mr. Jackson, my heartfelt condolences to you, sir, and your daughter, Courtney, and Mama Barbara. Karen Smith, you came, you saw, and you definitely conquered, and you've etched your name permanently on the shores of Jamaica, your home. You will definitely will be missed. You're a legend. And an icon just gone too soon. Thank you so much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Please like and share this video. And if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, now is the time to do so. Thank you so much.